Caro here. Um, today's video is going to be quite short and sweet. I mainly want to bring up the topic of this. Now, I know a lot of other YouTubers have already covered this, but the reason I'm covering it is, you know, I'm looking from the casual player's perspective, particularly those players that are new to the game. Now, um, they have made some improvements uh, for newer players to the game. Uh, some of those improvements include now that you can summon 10 unknown scrolls when you reach level 10, not level 30, so you can do that 20 levels earlier. That's pretty good. Um, when you tap the lock content, a pop-up will now speci specify the unlock condition. So they're going to make it a little bit more uh, self-explanatory for the newer players, so that's good. Um, when you tap the guild contact area while you haven't joined a guild, you'll be directed to the guild joining notice page. That's shortcutting things. Uh, user guide that helps new users during early gameplay has been improved. So again, making it easier for newer players. Um, the minimum summoner level to use the chat system has been deleted. Now that was only applicable to global server. So in global server, you had to reach level eight uh, before you could start using chat. I don't think that's a very good improvement. I think it's a negative improvement for Global because Global, that was an anti-spam feature. So if you have noticed, I haven't actually noticed that for a while, so maybe they're not around as much, but you'll get these lovely, if you sign here, you'll get 500 crystals or something like that. Those are bots and they are deliberately trying to grab you to give information about your account so they can go in and hack your account still the data from that to sell to someone else and the aim is to steal people's accounts so that was one of the ways they had tried to buff against that I don't know if I'm 100% happy with that move um, now they've added these two new achievements in so when you've reached level 5 when you reach level 10 so 30 crystals and three one star rain bonds please note they're one star rain bonds they're not three star rain bonds I thought they were three stars so I got excited got thoroughly disappointed when I came across and found out they weren't. Oh, fodder is fodder, so I can't complain too much, I guess. Anyone can get these, so if you've got a level 50 account already, you can actually get them. I'll show you where to get them before the end of this video. Some of the scenario area clear rewards have been changed, so for Mount White Ragon, that used to be 30,000 mana stones and 30 energy, and that is now 100,000 mana stones and one mystical scroll. And uh, Verfagus Ruins has now changed to from 100 energy and an experience booster for a day to 100 energy and one mystical scroll. I actually think these are very positive changes. The reason I think these are very positive changes is because when you're an early game player, you don't need that much energy because uh, you get a lot of it uh, from the Miri uh, Goddess of Miria's Blessings, um, but also just... You, 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 you're always, you, you, every time you level up, your energy levels go back to max, so you don't need that. Um, the Mystical Scrolls are very welcome as well because doing the New Start series has made me see and understand it can be very difficult when you start out um, because you have to, um, you don't have very many monsters to play with. So getting those two mystical scrolls, I think, are a better reward. So I'm quite pleased by that. And for newer players, I'm, I'm happy for them. Um, Goddess Amiria's Blessing, Rune Power Up Costs, Mana Stones, 50% discount benefit has been added. So before, you used to have all five. Uh, now you uh, used to have all four. Now you've got a fifth one. Rune Power Up Costs 50% less. That's fantastic. I, I really like that feature. I think it's a very good feature. So if you can get through the scenario fast enough and get those good um, good five-star runes, um, yeah, you definitely want to make the most of that. So very, very positive. Um, the rest of the update is more um, bug fixes and other you know, uh, quality of life increases and the arena. I'm not going to talk about that. I will quickly have a talk about the dimensional hull energy here. So... I was aware this this feature was going to be added, so being able to spend 120 crystals to get dimensional hull energy. I the original rumor I'd heard was it was going to be a complete refill, so you were going to go from able to go from zero dimensional hull energy to 100. 
Uh, I do think that was a bit wrong and broken. I think you could um, easily get all your awakenings done pretty quick. Um, so thankfully, they haven't done that. And not so thankfully, the, the level of which they're gone. So 10 dimensional whole energy for 120 crystals. I'm sorry, but that's not worth it. That is a waste of crystals. Um, especially if you're free to play. So I'm, I can't see that being a very positive improvement. So I'm a bit saddened by that. Hopefully they'll buff that a little bit later, but we'll see. Now, why am I doing a video to quickly highlight all these points here? Well, because I've been doing a, a series, new start series, to help new players into the, in, introduce to the game. Someone as well. And alas, it is now out of date because of these changes. So I will be making a, I'll be, I'll be going back to all the old episodes and redoing them from scratch. This is why I'm in this dud account because as you can see, it's a very small thing. I'm only level two. Uh, I haven't, I'm going to reset this account. There's nothing fantastic on this island. So I have no qualms about doing it. I'm going to reset this account and I'm going to start from scratch. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing, starting from scratch. Thankfully, I haven't actually summoned the Vampire Lord in this account, so um, I've got to do a bit more work to get him, but yeah. So I'll be starting this account from scratch as of tonight. I'll be filming the whole series again from scratch, which is actually probably a good thing because there was some bits and pieces that I wasn't 100% happy with previously, other than the sound quality. Um, so I'll be doing that. Um, yeah, so that's my aim. That's why I've done this video. Now, to quickly before we, to quickly before we wrap this up, um, to collect for those players out there who've already reached level 50, to collect those 30 crystals and those three rainbow ones, down at the bottom, where challenges is, click on that. And if you look at this screen, if you look at the top right, just below the X is level up with an exclamation mark and a like a little present box. Click on that and that's where they've been added to so they're the, the first two so level five and level 10 rewards so guys if you've reached level 50 or if you're already past level 10 you want to get this go here and you'll be able to collect the 30 crystals and the three rainbow ones well that's it guys very quick very short and sweet video um and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one caro signing off